Hey, Shotzi's dog optic sucks. They're trash. I'm winning champs, baby. Let's go. Yeah. What's going on, bro? Like, what, what am I doing this for? Like, what's the reason why? I highly disagree with all this type of content. I fucking hate it. So if you guys don't know who Nadia And I don't usually talk bad on people. I will talk bad on him, though. I will talk bad on Sniper Wolf. Because these people fucked with me. But if you don't fuck with me, I'm not going to say shit about you. That's just the way I am. These two people fucked with me. So I'm going to talk shit about them, too. She's a 22-year-old uh -uh. zone player. She streams every single day on Twitch at 3 a.m. This is about... My... Some... It's Voice right does try to tear people down all the time, but you wouldn't care about it. Where he finally, finally even mentions. I don't care who it is. It's just not a cool thing to do. What the video is supposed to be. Right around the four minute thirty second mark, everything before this is him patting his own ego, like I'm grinding Vanguard rank to be rank number one. I'm a Call of Duty professional player who's trying to be one of the best in the world. I've gamed six, seven hours a day in order to climb to rank one. Yes, that is true. Uh, I've heard about this Nadia girl, but at first I wasn't suspicious, but other people were suspicious, so I started to get a little suspicious myself, and I, I decided using everything I know about the game yep. and the scene, I was going to look into it a bit myself. So yep, that's, that's true. kind of what I was thinking about that doing. That is true, yes. A buddy of mine has a cheating software that, for some reason, I this can't get true. in touch with Activision about. It's just nothing. He says a whole lot of fucking nothing. Turn me up, yeah. And there's a lot out there about Nadia. Like. That was his whole second point, by the way. So that's two out of three points he makes. She's bad at acting. And he doesn't like turn me up. <laughs> so yeah. right now we're two out of three points deep in his expose on Nadia. It's so shit. This is just such a weird, awful video. And this guy can't make a joke or anything. He's just so unlikable. So remarkably unlikable. I'm not looking for clout. I'm not looking for money. Don't need any of that stuff. See, bro, this, bro. See, creators be, so bro. What's the point of the video then? But what is Moist Critical I talking about? Dive. Like the dolphin dive. He's so That's unlikable and shit. Like, bro, like. That's it. Just a little attention seeking, poorly. Attention seeking, isn't it comedy? This guy's talking about it. Yeah, yeah, Look, nah. The nah. Nadia content yeah, is nah. I'm not trying to say <laughs> yeah, that the Nadia bro. content isn't cringy. I'm not trying to say it's made for everyone. I get all that. I'm agreeing with him on that. But for someone like this dude to have that many subs, that many content pieces, that much video, he is literally doing all this shit, just tearing people down daily to benefit himself. I was that just is talking the number about this. one definition of attention I was seeking, just bro. talking about this. Straight up. And now this guy has completely ruined his reputation. Well, whatever reputation he had left, this guy. Your reputation is you're a fucking loser who tears people down for money and people think you're cool because they find it funny. Deep down, I don't think anyone Damn. actually thinks what you're doing is good for society. You were just tearing Damn. people down for money. I'm not doing shit like that. I'm not a fucking weirdo, bro. Damn. That actually hurt my feelings. Man, yo, yo, Tiff, put me reacting to this on TikTok. I need to be like Pokemon or some shit. We're going to blow up. We're going to fucking blow up. It doesn't really matter. Oh. Somehow, he just ruined his own... There you go. That's the thumbnail right there. There you go. Holy shit, bro. Holy shit, bro. All the money I was making that this man is making right now. This, this guy makes crazy money. I left Damn, all that bro. money to do shit that I love. I don't care about my career in the way that he cares. Damn, he bro. cares so much about his career to the point he built his YouTube channel with 13 million subs to make tens of millions of dollars because he's chasing money. Literally, that's all he's doing is chasing money. I, I've made money. I'm good with it. I want more money for sure, but I want to do it with things that actually impact society in positive ways. That's why I'm doing 10,000 pull-ups in 24 hours to raise money for charity and to have my mom remember something about me when she dies. Yo, Chad, Zoom like, he's going to the moon, bro. On an academy team <laughs> Yo. To make them superstars and have them have blossoming careers. I'm doing things that actually matter to me. This guy doesn't know what matters to him. I could tell because of his content. Thing I've read, but he's ruined his own fragment of a reputation from trying to ride that wave. Somehow, even if she's out of the Look at Doug. Look at Doug proposing. There's no way this guy actually has loyalty. Yeah, look at Doug proposing with the ring, bro. <laughs> Maybe like five years ago. Yo, look at Doug fucking proposing so with the ring, dude. This, this guy's talking about clout, money, bullshit. Look, yeah, there's clout involved with it, but it's 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 cringy content that I know is gonna do well, and I find it fun and original. Now, with all this being said, I I gotta show you guys this. This is literally the analytics on the Nadia video right here. Look, oh, he's pulling up analytics, up bro. Shit, guys. Oh, he's pulling up analytics, bro. This is literally how honest I am about shit. Look. This is the fucking analytics on my video about Nadia. Look at the revenue. Zero dollars. Nothing. 
Like when people talk what? about me, I just find it so funny. Yo, I, you I, didn't I strap ads on there? If I monetize this video, I'm making- Yo, Vows, he didn't monetize? I'm making at least $2,000, probably a little bit more. It's like, bro, I did all this shit for free because I wanted to fucking promote Nadia because after this video went live, I knew this shit would bang. I knew I would take the hit. I knew people would look at me like I'm an idiot. And I knew that it would promote her. And I thought of an entire unique original like sitcom of videos I could make with Nadia because I've not seen a girl as galvanizing as someone like Nadia in Call of Duty in my life. And she's galvanizing for being controversial, the hacking situations, right? I found a huge niche to build through cringy ass content, proposing to her super fucking cringy to translate that into actual fun content with Nadia in real life. I think her management got scared. Her management advised her not to make videos with me, but I made it very clear to Nadia publicly and privately. And she loves everything about this video because it took the heat off of her back. Nobody was questioning her about being a cheater. And she actually liked me a lot from it. So like, Look, I knew I was taking a hit, but like, I don't care about what my reputation is on the internet. I know who I am as a person. I didn't do this shit for money. I didn't do this shit necessarily for clout. I did it because I thought it would be fun. And if it gets clout because it's fun, whether it's in a cringy way or a good way, I mean, I'd rather do something that's cringy than do something that's bad for society like this fucking loser. Like, this guy's just a straight up loser. Like, all he does is, like, it's just, you're promoting <laughs> negative things and people are glorifying, glorifying for it. It's just, yeah. I just can't get behind that, bro. It's just disgusting to me. Oh my god! No. So I had to like go on a tangent, but dude, that actually ticked me off. You don't know off. anything about censor. He's not really <laughs> the best Call of Duty player. He's not on a professional yeah. team anymore. He's like I, the captain of an academy team, which is like, like I don't know, man. It'd be like being the captain of like a single A baseball team in the MLB. You know what I mean? Like you're not really pro at that point anymore. Like it's probably <laughs> one of the lowest brackets of professional you can be. In Bro, I'm literally playing world champion MVPs and challengers every single day. Players that literally rub their nuts on half the guys in the league. This just tells me that, and it's funny, he's playing Call of Duty while he's doing this. This guy doesn't even know what the fuck he's talking about. If he knows anything about the logistics with CDL and challengers and how the <laughs> league actually works, he would be eating all his words right now. But this is a bunch of more bullshit that people spew and they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. In the Call of Duty, nah, so Doug's been, uh... to keep a roster spot for a long time. Every year he says it's his year. He's it's never really been his year. He's never been the best Call of Duty player at any COD. He's never probably even really been a, like a top player at any COD. If we're being real, hey yo, don't come in my chat, right? Bitching about how y'all got fooled for the nine thousand. Oh, he's fooled you over nine thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> Doug has literally found a, I talked about this in the fucking podcast. I was like, Doug has found a way to clickbait everyone, pull out the fucking men in black pen that wipes memory, right? And then proceed to do it again and again and again and again. Yeah, look at my emote. And again and again and again, and again times 9,000. Okay? Doug has done that 9,000 times, and y'all still keep falling for that shit. <laughs> There's some truth to that. that. There's definitely some truth to that. Suit? Just buy another one. Behold, the comedic stylings of Doug. I bet you have to pick yourself up off the floor after laughing so hard and falling out of your chair. But that's a side-splitting humor you can expect to find from Doug here. Okay, so, like, I think people find Dude. him funny for his humor. But, like, also at the same time, humor is very subjective. I think that what I was doing with that video, there were people who found it funny. I think majority of people didn't find it funny and they found it cringy. But like humor is subjective to people. And as a guy who constantly is trying to be humorous, how are you going to try to say that your subjective humor is better than mine? Like this is what this guy's all about. I'm better. I'm funnier. I'm this. I'm that. Blah, 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 blah. I'm moist critical. I build my whole reputation on roasting people and making tens of thousands of dollars on it every day. That's why I wanted to roast this guy so hard with Yannette because if Yannette actually did it and she just disagreed to doing it but my goal was i was going to take his clip of him calling me some bullshit about fucking woman or whatever the fuck i, I forgot the exact part of it i was going to take that then it was going to cut to me and yannette's multi-million dollar apartment in new york city where i'm in her living room with her and i'm just sitting there like hey and i was going to put on a wig i was going to impersonate moist critical i was going to put on a long ass wig to <laughs> impersonate him with his long hair. and i was going to sit there with his hair right and the, the video was going to cut to me on my phone i was going to be like uh, and keep in mind, like, that's in the background. Like, this Dude. is what I envisioned. She was going to be in the background 
and she wasn't going to be in the video. I just wanted her voice <laughs> in the video. I didn't want her yeah. actually in it, though. So I wanted to cut from him talking about me about women. He was saying some shit about me and women, right? I'm like, you know what? I could roast this guy back about women because I know this guy never got with a girl like Yannette. This guy can't pull a girl like Yannette. Well, he could because he has money. So he could buy a girl like Yannette, but it's not going to be real. Like, my thing with Yannette is actually real. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to take this fucking clip of this bullshit motherfucker, this yeah, fucking son. weirdo, because that's what he is. He's a fucking weirdo. Uh, you make money off of just degrading people. You're a weirdo. Um... And I can't emphasize that enough. And you could clip this and send it to him and he could react and roast me and make another $30,000 because that's what he did. He made $30,000 roasting me. That's his number one motivation for roasting me. The fact he can make money off of it. And now he'd probably come out and say, it's not about money. Yeah, because you got fucking tens of millions of dollars now, dog. Of course, it's not about the fucking money now. Like, no shit. So anyways, yeah, I was going to go in the apartment. I was going to impersonate this guy because he really struck a chord with me. People like him who capitalize off of the way he oh, does it, it just it strikes a chord with me. It's not genuine. It's not sincere. And it's not the right way to make money, in my opinion. So it just really fucking gets under my skin. I was going to put on a wig, impersonate this motherfucker. Be like, hey, guys, uh, Charlie, your voice critical here. And uh, all I do all day long is just uh, react to roast people all day and make money off of it. And, um, yeah, you know, I get no bitches. But, hey, I just made... $30,000 <laughs> and then I was going to cut to Yannette saying like dog we're going to be late to the movie and I was going to be like oh I'm sorry my bad and like I rip off the wig so like, yeah. like yo you make all this bro, money oh my no god bro money, unless if you pay for them because let's look at you like let's just be honest bro like I'll be 10 times more toxic towards a person like this if they're going to come at me first look at this fucking guy bro you get no bitches you get nothing unless you pay for them I don't find you funny in any way or capacity I think you just manipulate little kids into thinking that you're funny because of the way that you speak with your monotone ass voice Damn. and you just roast people all day long and make them feel bad about themselves. You get millions of kids watching you making fun of people that you don't even know shit about them. This guy doesn't even know me. And that's the thing. I'm strong enough to come out and say shit like this because I'm almost 30. Damn. But if I was a 20 year old kid, you know what this would do to my confidence, bro? This fucking guy is a loser. All he does is just take people that are impressionable, make them feel less confident about themselves and more insecure. He doesn't help grow people to be better. Yeah. I want to make people better with my, my time. Yo, my bad, voice critical. Money. My that's bad. That's why I left Phase. That's why I left Yannette. That's why I stopped uploading on YouTube. I, what am I doing now? I am helping people like Snoopy make money. Dan Ghosty making money. Now, granted, he got in the league because him and Fellow won. But last year, I believed in Ghosty. Damn. I was this kid. I did everything for him because I believe in him. Vows, you got the thumbnail? Him. I think he's talented. I think he's good, and I think he's worth it. And I think those types of people need to be promoted in this world. That's why you I'm got so it? happy to see Dan Ghosty doing so well on Optic. That's why it makes me so happy that Snoopy's on the main team, Kremp's on the main team, Bean's on the main team. Um, did he get it? Is he in here? Like, I, I just care about people. I care about their futures. This guy cares about his bank account. And I see right through all this bullshit, bro. Fucking losers. No doubt this man's going. <laughs> Damn, crazy. bro. We're probably going to start writing to Amy Schumer next. Okay, so now how long do we got to wait here? Jesus oh, Christ. I'm hurt. Sorry, I just, that guy oh really God. pissing me off. This I don't fuck with him. <laughs> this is supposed to be like last yeah. <laughs> Like That guy got me turned, bro. <laughs> He's so dumb. Take my 20 bomb. Take my 20 oh, I'm bomb. good. <laughs> I don't yeah. remember this. <laughs> oh, this is the naughtier stuff. Of course I remember this. Dude, oh my, oh my god, bro. What is he doing? Yo, what is going on? Yo, Tim. Matty! He's got a fucking grip in his guy, bro. He's lost his mind. He's lost his marbles. <laughs> He's putting us all to shame. Turn me up, yeah. Why is Doug acting like this, dude? Like, you could go down He's not trolling, bro. Name, but there's one thing that really stands. Nah, I was trolling, bro. <laughs> Three. <laughs> I was trolling, bro. Three. Were you guys watching what I'm seeing, bro? I was trolling, Clay. Nah, Doug was trolling, bro. Bro, this game is literally hated this Nadia video. He hated it. What are you talking about, dog? You just did 10 minutes. <laughs> Clay sees right through it all, bro. It's got to be the biggest, the biggest troll I've ever seen, bro. Yeah, it was. And people thought it wasn't a troll, but it was. But, hey, I mean... Nah, I this is great. Nah, the whole map. Nah, the whole jet ski. Nah, this is great. <laughs> what is wrong? Dude, Doug is one of a kind.
Bro, who thinks of this? Me. <laughs> I do. Damn, bro. What the? Bro, this guy is such a troll. <laughs> You're such a loser, dog. Hey, listen, bro. I'm not trying to ruin nobody's careers out here, chat. You got to be fucked up if you think I'm going to come after Nadia and try to ruin her career. You got to be fucked up if you think I'm doing that, bro. Get the fuck out of here if you think I'm trying to ruin this girl. There career, he bro. goes. You dead ass right now? There he what goes. It's 2022, bro. There he goes. Bro, people were so mad. Nadia. The ultimate Bro, troll, people dude. were so like, fucking mad, be, bro. Honestly, guys, like... I see why you were so mad in the chat. It. I knew I was trolling the whole community with this one, and I apologize if it actually upset you guys because I understand how I led people on with it. Um, but my whole intention, like I said, like Nadia, you got 24 hours to respond. Like I had like 20,000 live viewers, guys. I could have kept this stream live, and I could have made like ten thousand dollars. Bro, let day. people on. Like Bro, isn't didn't Nadia you know, get ten thousand subs from milking the fuck out of this, this hacking really shit? Bridge to actually making IRL content with Nadia. Like in my head, I was like, okay, look at Nadia's social blade. This was probably the biggest growth she's ever had when I did this. And I knew Bro, that. she literally so blew original. up from this That's hacking shit. I want to make original content. Even if she it's literally like, milked if it, bro. You don't like it, I could live with that. But she like, milked I'm not that shit, to tear bro. Her down. I'm trying to bring her up. And I know if I made IRL vlogs with Nadia after this, we would have fucking killed it on YouTube, making fun IRL vlogs with each other. That would have been so much fun. But her management advised against it because. They, they, were, they were scared of the risk. And I get it because they don't know me. They don't know how I am. And if they just watched this, they would be scared. But if you know who I am and you know how I am, like, I am, I could say without a doubt, I care more about others than I care scared about Scared of the success, risk. Especially at this point in my life because I have just about everything You're that I want. Scared of I'm very happy with where I'm at with life. Um, and there's nothing more that, like, truthfully, guys, I want to win a ring really, really bad. I want to win a world championship, be a starter in the league, all that good stuff. Yeah, I do. I have my own selfish goals, but I, I find so much joy in lifting the people around me up. And seeing people get success. Like, Dan going to Optic was so inspiring for me and our Boston Academy camp. Oh, and let's we go. Loved Dan, we just needed to do what we did. And to see him make it, to see him do it his way, to see him win in challengers or fellow in those boys, get on that team, do it. Yeah, like, check this that out. Was so fucking inspiring to us. And check this out, chat. You know, like, that, that's just like the, the mindset that I have with Check Dan. it like, out. I just lift people up all the time. And, uh, Man, I hope that people can understand that because I'm definitely. Man, why, why do I look so tan? They, they put like, a unless if you deserve it, I'm gonna tell you. They I photoshopped the tan. That's what I'm talking about. about. Uh, face ring, like he taught me everything I know. Or was I actually that tan in the picture? Yeah. I can't remember. And he goes off a lie, bro. He's such a troll. Yeah. Dude, yeah, let's go, Chad. Let's go, dude. Everybody, go like this tweet, man. Go like this tweet, yeah. Yeah, look at. <laughs> Doug Sensor Martin here. Hope you guys are having a great day. We're still on the Nadia stuff. How do make people dislike you within the first minute of a video? Uh -oh. Bro, people don't like you. They think you're funny because you make fun of people because you abuse algorithms on YouTube and you get recommended to so many young, impressionable people who don't really know anything. They just hear your voice and they see videos like this where there's people and you take them in their context oh, and you still spin going. It in your narrative to make them painted in a certain picture. Now, in this video... He didn't really have to say much because it speaks for itself. But this is literally his gimmick to making money. Oh, it Yo, makes me so he mad. He just speed ran unlikability. I really love the thought process behind this video here. I'll just crank out some pull-ups before getting into it. That'll make them think I'm cool. Flex on him a little bit. Hey, what's up, nerds? It's me, Doug. What, did Bro, I forget to give you a I'm a troll. Today? No, I'm just kidding. I'm the likable douchebag who plays video games. I'm a troll, bro. I want to win a ring and I want to get <laughs> like, back dude. into the pro league. There he goes. There he goes. It's always the one. I see that guy's face. Bro, I get bro, so mad, bro, bro. Why? I get so mad when I see bro, why was Moist? Why was Moist Critical so <laughs> mad? <laughs> Even if I did dump her for cops, who fucking cares? Who the fuck cares, dude? I would box Moist Critical. I would, and I don't box, but I would box I that motherfucker. I, 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 I would box that guy. Yeah, I would. I want to win. I can't stand people with power who do shit like that. I can't stand it. I oh, hate it. So dumb. Like you got it. You got a platform, bro. You can't be doing shit. Oh, like he's so land. dumb. The last time I went to land before this year was with Dex. Bip would <laughs> Doug Sensor Martin up. Uh. I just, I just think he's trolling. Isn't he? If he's not trolling, he no, he has. I don't think he's. I don't think he's trolling. I think he Isn't is. Isn't he washed? I genuinely believe he's trolling. 
Isn't he washed? And seeing Censored Doug's video yesterday has got to be the saddest excuse of a human being I think I've ever seen in my life. Bro, why why were were people so mad? To be a part of this Call of Duty community. When we have people that are literally trying to debunk (laughs) things, trying to end the entire drama, and not only do they continue it, they lose their entire credibility in the process. Why were people so mad? Awful. All jokes aside, this video is about showing the truth of Nadia. <laughs> All jokes aside, what jokes? All zero of them that you've told so far? This is so embarrassing, Doug. The fact that you not only made this, but you edited it a- and posted it shamelessly and hyped it up. You could have at least made a point out of this. Like, Nadia claims she's very familiar with Call of Duty and Black Ops in particular. My point was to blow Nadia up and make her more popular than someone like you, actually. That was my point, but you're too fucking thick to see that because you're too worried about roasting people all day to make millions of views. How would she be unfamiliar with the term dolphin diving? That was a very standard term used in Black Ops by everyone. It'd be very surprising if she'd never heard of dolphin diving despite playing so much Black Ops. But you didn't even begin to, like, broach that subject. Because she's trolling about the dolphin diving, you fucking moron. She obviously knows what a dolphin dive is. If you did your research, you just don't do your research. You take 15 minutes, you look at some content, and then you just turn your camera on. You record, you edit, you post it, and you do it again the next day, and you don't even care. Instead, you... I know because I used to do it. I literally did what he does, to an extent. Not as bad as him, but I used to do it. That's why I'm talking so confidently about this. Took this and made an absolute nothing sandwich out of it again. Oh, man. They got to cut this Moist Critical guy to this mega compilation thing because, like, everything he stands for just... Mm, I, I'm so... It, it just makes me... Like, I yeah, to Doug does audit. not fuck with Moist Critical. All about, like, this roast compilation. And then I saw this guy's face and I was like, dude, I got to fucking tuck this motherfucker. I don't even care <laughs> if it's, like, my stream or my fans or if you guys hate me or love me. Or <laughs> I just want to say my part about that because, dude, that guy actually gets me Yo, so What the pissed fuck off. is going on, bro? And I don't box and I don't condone fighting. And what the like fuck are y'all motherfuckers doing in the main oh, call, bro? I'm live. 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 I'm why? What I happened with him? This one. He would never box me. Uh, he's just he he's trying to me. box him he now. He's too much money. Not into the gossip, right? He knows he would get his shit pushed in. <laughs> and he's too much of a bitch to actually accept <laughs> oh, that. Oh, yo, Doug's talking. Hold on, I gotta switch, yo. You guys have a good day, bro. Look, you could see me and never let you want to see me. You could see me and muted. pick me and depict me and not like what I do here, not no. what I do there, think I'm cringy here, think I'm an idiot here, whatever. Cool. You could do all that, but I'm gonna be genuine about it the whole time. I'm not gonna care about my reputation. Damn, he called him a bitch? People are gonna see through all the bullshit. I see through the bullshit with this guy. He needs a reality check, and um, I would love to give him one. Straight Damn. Up. Oh, my God. That guy pisses me off, dude. Jesus Christ, man. He's more relevant than Censor ever will. Yes, Moist Critical is more relevant than I ever was and ever have been. He is. Do you want a fucking cookie? I don't give a fuck. That's why I'm going in on this guy like this, because I just think Yo, what he's doing is wrong. I don't like it. I don't support it. Look, you want to see a good YouTuber? I'll show you a good YouTuber. Hold on. Who's this he is showing, a really, bro? really good YouTuber right here. Who's he showing, bro? This is a big YouTuber, and he's a really good one. This guy right here. Mr. Beast? What do you guys know about this guy? Oh, FaZe Rug? Yeah, no, 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 no. Rug's the goat, bro. Rug's this the goat. is a fucking credible YouTuber right here. Look at his content. Letting pro athletes decide what I eat for 24 hours. Trying summer hacks that will make your life 10 times better. Wow. You're promoting something that's going to make my life better. That's us watch Summertime, it. the best time of the year. Beautiful weather, lots of activities, yeah. no school, nothing to worry about other than having fun. I gathered some of the coolest summer hacks I can find for you and your friends to try out. Let's get it. 12 seconds into the video, FaZe Rug is already trying to benefit society. He's already trying to do things for people to help them. He doesn't need to stoop to Moist Critical's level to get views. He could actually do things that are positive and get views and money. Moist Critical yeah. could not. He needs to make fun of people like me to get views. He needs to do that regularly. And that's the cycle he's been in for a while. And that's why I feel genuinely bad for that guy. Because I was in that same situation too. I was living a lie. I was telling people I loved a girl I wasn't in love with. I was in an organization in FaZe Clan who didn't support me being a competitive player. And they kept leading me on about it every single day. Why do you think it made me feel so crazy? Why do you think I left? Because I had to do the right thing. It was either I do the right thing 
or yeah, it was I Sebastian telling him those I things. Tell in the world how much and I he ended up that. smuggling I money and her, fucking going to prison in fucking I've Norway. I've my <sighs> I'll be bigger than Moist Critical on YouTube right now if I did all that. A vlog channel with Yannette and our kids would definitely be bigger than what he's doing right now. And it would have been so great. Everyone would have loved it. They would have yeah. loved the family vlogs and teaching the kids how to do this and that and the other thing. But look, I wasn't in love, man. I just wasn't in love. I wanted to try something different. Even though it didn't benefit me, it didn't benefit my social media, it didn't benefit my YouTube channel, it didn't benefit my bank account. I just wanted to do what was right for me. And that's why I liked someone like Ray's Rug because he didn't have to change who he was to become successful. He's always been this guy. I what? turned my house into a five-star hotel. That's pretty interesting. I opened a five-star hotel at my house. Is this Moist Critical's Thank channel? You, there are three different rooms. The cheap one, the Twitch is dead. Room, the expensive suite. We're starting off the video with a challenge. Horrible babysitter. This game is worse Don't than Gollum. Because you may or may not be moving rooms. Throughout the day, we'll be competing to collect golden key cards. And whoever ends up with the most will be spending the weekend in the luxurious suite. This is the YouTuber face swap challenge. We'll be shown a picture of two youtubers faces combined so guys i want to tell you something about phase rug right now <laughs> you, that sounds better than your content. holy I mean, to a lot of people it does being a youtuber full-time making all that money is definitely something a lot of cod players would rather do um but look phase rug thank you chat oh thank you chat i just want to say this because i just want to show you guys hey, a good thank you chat a good genuine youtuber look I don't care if his videos are for nine-year-olds. It doesn't matter. Yes, you're right. They are for nine-year-olds. I met FaZe Rug when he was 15. His YouTube channel was dead. He didn't really have many views. He wasn't gaining subscribers. He literally wasn't gaining anything. Like, I remember. I remember the day so clearly in my head. I, it was, what was it? It was November of 2014. I can Zoom remember, off your Reddit? I YouTube All right, videos let's like listen to YouTube Doug channel, and tune into the Zoom off your Reddit. Because this was the let's same see what we got here. day when FaZe Rug was in a car with me and he said this to me. Hold on. Defending Sam Phoenix. What the? F What's going on, guys? Yo, Vows, you gotta up. Vows, you gotta upload the FIFA shit, bro. Look at this. Okay, when I was this age, guys. Chat can't be real. I don't even know what the chat's saying. What are, What are we saying right now? Uh, let me scroll back up. Hold on. I don't think Moist changed me. It's just a lazy dude who sits inside. Damn, it sounds like better than your COD career. Same thing with Keyscard. Jeeves channel feeds up negativity. Zoom is watching this. How you doing? How don't you love you, Net? That would have blown up. What am, I don't know what I, I don't know. But whatever. Like, yo, when I was at this point in my life right here, guys, when I was this age, I was 19. FaZe Rug was like 16, right? And Man, Doug looks so Google young, Google, bro. Me and Rug. And he was telling me how he looks up to me. He was telling me how he like really, really idolizes me and like how he like I'm a big inspiration for him. And like all of his mannerisms and his gestures they were all consistent throughout his entire career. From that point when his YouTube channel wasn't popping, he wasn't getting the views, to now, to this day and age, when he's like 25 or 26 years old, his so What's the point now, chat? Where's he so going with this, chat? He is the same guy. <clears throat> he's grown, he's learned, he's matured. What's the point he's now? The same core beliefs. He never changed. Yo, go back to cooking moist critical, bro. Yo, Doug, start cooking motherfuckers, bro. That's what we're here for, bro. I could tell you the ones in the Call of Duty community too. Man, stop with this positivity shit. Yo, is that how these created? Bro, we were just talking about this. This is how the creators do it. They just be talking shit. This guy right here. Man, fuck his son. Fuck Pokemon. Fuck them. Is this what people do to get views? Shots. Yo, we gotta start doing this shit. Because. I don't care about his skill. That's we gotta start doing I'm this shit, bro. For a second, right? I don't mean that with any disrespect. Yeah. Him, I guess. How's that related to Moise? I just think he's a terrible human being. I think what he does every day is horrible. I think he's not doing anything. To no, Chad. I was just kidding, Chad. I, I was just kidding. Doing it to benefit his bank account. I think it's horrible. I was just subscribe kidding, Chad. Okay. Uh, I don't even know why I'm not subscribed. Um, come off kind of looking dumb because a lot of what you claim is quite the opposite. Contributes a lot and brings up smaller people without fans. Without fans through his org. His whole bread and butter, look, his whole bread and butter to become as successful as he did is to roast people and to bring people down. And obviously, you're going to try to balance it out by doing some nice things every now and then. I'm not trying to take away from the good things that Moist Critical does, but I'm telling you, the reason he got his success is because he would do things to negatively like, disrupt the people that he would be talking about. So I don't care. But with Shotzi, look, this guy right here, role model, straight up. He came into CDL. 
in MW9. Not bad. Oh, shit. See, like, he's so smart, dude. I don't even know he uploaded this. This is such a good thing to do. Like, Shotzi gets it. He's smart. Not bad, oh, bro. I just randomly queued my up and ranked with it. Doug. He's got to start fucking roasting title, people, get those viewers back. And look at the views he's going to get. He's going to have 172,000 views on this video. But what is yo, he Myth, doing? Yo, he's Myth got to start roasting me. motherfuckers, get that viewership back up. You know what I mean, Jack? Pod with me, and we're playing some fucking Call of Duty. What is he, like, cutting between the POVs? Yep. So, like, this is some good-ass content. He's going to cut from my POV to his POV. He's got his glasses on. He's chilling. He's being original. He's being himself. He's being fun. He's consistent. He's streaming every day. His content is respectable is what I'm trying to say. This is good, respectable content. Regardless of the views. I mean, dude, the views are great. But, like, even if it didn't get views, it's still good, respectable content in my opinion. And what is he doing? He's promoting Call of Duty players to want to be like him. Why would I want to be like Shotzi, you might ask, if you don't know who he is? Um, I don't know. Shotzi versus Beezy. Let's watch this one. All right, who the fuck is Shotzi? If I'm, a ran like, I'm a random guy. I don't know Shotzi, right? Let's watch some Shotzi. Oh, I want to be like Shotzi because of this. Bro, what the fuck is it? Let me talk to Doug. I want to be bro. like this guy. I watched this guy play COD. Yeah, I want to be like him. Okay, cool. Like, Let me start watching more of his videos and see how he plays COD, right? And then you start watching him and it's like... Talk shit about right more way, people. Man. I could tell with Ant when I met him. He was special. I could tell he was genuine. Tell I Doug to talk some more shit, bro. He had good people around him. He I got to instigate this shit, bro. It's getting boring. He wanted to be unique. He had a lot of Hold on, bro. And he wasn't going to let anyone get in his way. And his talent was going to speak for itself. Hold so on, bro. Like, I got it. Hold on, bro. These are the bro. types of people that are true, genuine role models. These are the types of people. Talk shit about more people. Dude, Moist Critical is a fucking loser. Straight up. <laughs> Shotzi is a fucking beast. Shotzi is... Dude, like these are the people that oh, I, shit. I want to be like Shotzi. Bro, now, like, holy I can't shit. Mimic his bro. Gameplay. I can never mimic this gameplay. Yeah. <laughs> it. it is what it is. Yeah, like, Doug is fucking Shotzi, hilarious. Bro. I can't copy him. Like I could play against him and I could beat him. He might beat me more. He might beat me less. I don't know. I have to get to the league first, guys. I get all that. Like I'm not trying to like get myself roasted right now. All I'm trying to say is like this dude right here is literally the best role model I've seen in Call of Duty since Scump and Shot. And I'm so happy that he's carrying the torch of Seth. Because obviously Seth retired. I'm sure him and Seth have had, and Hector have had in Bro, I got to rip some papanya, bro. Hold on, bro. I, I I'm not faded enough like for this never, shit. Hold on, I'm going to get ever, more faded. Ever, 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 ever leave out Hold the game. On, Stay okay. out of the gaming for your entire life. Dude, Hold what on, doing bro. this team right now is monumental to this team. To not only Optic success, but Call of Duty success. Like, we need Shotzi. We need him. Bro, Shotzi were dumps for me. I mean, you might be right. I mean, he's Hold literally on, one of the best bro. in the game. You might be right about that. But we, we got to go need crazy like bro. Shotzi if we want to make this game go to the level we want it to. If we want this thing to blow up to the point where people can make careers and actually make a lot of money, we need more Shotzi's. What about Hassan, Pokey, et cetera? They do the same shit as Moist Snow. Look, I'm not going to talk about his. Like, here's what I'll say I don't know Pokey. I don't have a reason to dislike Pokey. I don't have a reason to dislike Fuck. Hassan. I don't even know. Them. Shit, mission even, failed. I'm going to be honest. I didn't even know who Moist Critical was until he roasted me. That tells you Shit. how focused I am on the Call of Duty stuff. I know, I know Tommy's. I know what Tommy's doing. <laughs> now he might be right. Then if Tommy's doing this, he might be right. He trolling and faded up. Look, Tommy might be spot on. Like Mission Kyle, we'll get him next time. But the difference between them and Moist is that they never attacked me first. They never came at me and did some dumb shit. Like if 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 Damn. Hassan or Pokemon. Try to do it. Damn, I tried, Chad. I tried, bro. I tried, bro. I tried, bro. But I don't have a reason. I tried, dude. Damn, bro. I don't want to. I don't care. Said Pokemon. Like disrupt their flow in any way or like do anything. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure they do, Jay. But again, like, I'm the type of guy like I don't want to say bad things about people unless if I have a reason to. Like, you know, there's like an old school saying. My grandma says this all the time. Um. And she's like the most innocent person I know outside of Snoopy. Um, she always say like, just if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. And hearing that from someone like my grandma really resonates with me because of how innocent she is. And, and I try to just take inspiration from that. Like, I don't want to say bad things about people, but I will tweak what she said. And I will say bad things about people if they have to come at me first. Like if you attack me first, I'm definitely going to say something. hundred percent. Zuma wants to talk more shitty news for his YouTube vid. Is this true, Tom? Do you need me to be more controversial for your title and thumbnail on YouTube so you get more views, Tommy? Yes, please, you don't. know what? I support it, and I'll give you all the views in the world, Tommy. <laughs> I got you. What do you want me to say, Tom? Yeah, what do you want me to say, Tom? What should I say next? Shotzi's dog shit? Hey, Shotzi's fucking dog shit. Optic sucks. They're trash. I'm winning champs, baby. Let's go. Yeah. 
Clip that shit, man. Let's go. Yeah. Dog shit. Fucking dog shit. Horrible. Why am I yelling? Because I'm trying to get the motivation going. You get that? Going. Vows, you get that? To get it. You know what I'm saying? We got to... Tiff, you ah! get that? I'm a world star them. <laughs> yeah. Botsy? More like Botsy. Yeah. Shotzi more like shit <laughs> shit himself when he sees me on the main stage with my yeah. sleeveless. Uh, yeah. Can you imagine? 10,000 pull-ups deep, sleeveless, veins coming out. I'm walking on the main stage. Shotzi going to turn into shit seat. you be like... For the vein. Watch, watch, Thank you, Doug. Fuck, I shit myself too. Bro, I'm telling you, man. Yo, Doug, yo, Doug is hilarious, bro. That's a perfect idea for a video. Thank you. Okay, I got you, man. Right, can we move on? Yo, Shotzi's the fucking goat, by the way. Yo, Doug is fucking hilarious, bro. Video. Shotzi's the goat. We all know this. He's the goat. No one can say shit to Shotzi. Yeah, no put the, yeah, you can put even, that in there too, bro. <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not a world yeah. champion, and even if I was a world champion, I didn't do it in Halo. If I won in Halo, that's hilarious, and in COD, bro. I'll start talking shit to Shotzi. Crazy. I'll be like, yeah, you fucking suck, bitch. I did that too. I did that too, but I didn't. Because <laughs> I'm not him, and I didn't do that, so I, I'm not gonna say that. You know, you got you got to respect people. You got to res, you got to give them the respect that they deserve, man. I think Dougie's. I think he's Shotsy done, bro. And Dashy versus